we have three main resources in our lives, our time, our health, and our money. But in reality, we can only accurately measure one of those things. And as a result, it's so easy to simply set our sights on making as much money as possible, whilst losing sight of the time and health slipping through our fingers. So whether you think you've got 100 years left to live or far, far less. In this video, I'm gonna run through the six reasons you should look to retire as soon as you can. Number one, retiring doesn't mean doing nothing. For most people, retiring early actually has nothing to do with doing nothing. That isn't the objective out of retirement. It's about having control over your time. So for instance, did you know that wealthy people are disproportionately more likely to be in paid work in their early 70s. In fact, the wealthiest 20% of people are three times more likely to be working into old age than the poorest 20% of people. Not because they have to, but because they enjoy the work. They enjoy keep keeping active and having things to do rather than working for financial reasons. But also importantly, those wealthy still working are also disproportionately more likely to be self-employed or working fewer than 16 hours per week. People have this idea that if you retire early, you're supposed to be on a beach rubbing sun oil in and slowly aging away like a piece of meat. When in reality, in my opinion, as you get older, you sort of realize that Retirement is about having the time to do things that are important to you, to take those risks you maybe couldn't when you were trapped in that nine to five job. Number two, health benefits. I think an often overlooked shocking statistics is the health benefits of retiring early or at least scaling back your hours into old age. For instance, 39% of the poorest 20% retired are people forced into retirement due to sickness or disability, compared to only 9% in the wealthiest 40% in society, which is really, really quite shocking and highlights the level of inequality in society today. For those that don't plan well for retirement or can't create the opportunities to earn enough, they are quite literally working themselves into ill health statistically. If you're in a position to earn enough to realistically retire. You need to attack the opportunity now in my view because 20 years ago the level of retirement was statistically quite equal between the richest and poorest amongst us with 28% of the richest 20% of people retiring by the time they were 65 compared to 20% in the poorest 20% retiring by 65. Whereas now only 7% of the poorest 20% are retired by 65 compared to 24% of the richest 20% in society. So quite literally working into old age because you have to is statistically more likely to make you sick and it's getting significantly harder as time goes on for people to actually reach retirement. Number three, time. The obvious advantage of retiring early is, of course, having more time. But as you can see, having more time becomes a resource you can choose how you spend or allocate. And the main things that increase as you retire is the huge amount of time you spend alone and with your partner. Now, I know you might look at this and think it's a bit depressing about the amount of time you spend alone. But the way I choose to look at this is you are removing the number one excuse most of us have for not doing things we want to do in life, which is saying we've not got enough time. Retirement buys you time to invest as you wish and waste as you wish. Number four, relationships. Firstly, a study by the National Institutes of Health found that increased time with family and friends significantly boosts your overall life satisfaction and happiness. Now, imagine being able to attend every family gathering, birthday or anniversary without worrying about work commitments. This extra time allows you to be more present in the lives of your spouse, your children, grandchildren, close friends. Secondly, retiring early provides the opportunity to build stronger connections. According to research published in the Journal of Social and Personal Relationships, people who retire early 
are often report stronger and more satisfying personal relationships because without the stress and distraction of a full-time job you can invest more emotional energy into nurturing your relationships rather than scrolling through your email you'll have the freedom to engage in deeper more meaningful conversations and shared activities that strengthen your bonds personally i think about my dad and stepmom that only live about 30 minutes from here but they're in their late 50s and early 60s now they're not retired and we see them way less than my parents-in-law despite the fact that they actually live in a different country altogether purely because they are both retired so certainly my direct experience is by retiring early it certainly led to my parents-in-law spending more precious days with us sharing experiences and building memories that will last a lifetime. Number five, learn new things. Retirement isn't just about relaxing, it's also the perfect time to engage your mind and pick up new skills and hobbies. Studies have shown that lifelong learning can have profound benefits on our mental and emotional well-being. Here are a few points backed by research. Firstly, let's talk about cognitive health. A study published in the journal Neurology found that engaging in intellectually stimulating activities such as learning a new language or picking up a musical instrument can delay the onset of cognitive decline and reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease. This means that by dedicating time to being able to learn new things in retirement, you're actively protecting your brain health. Secondly, learning new skills can boost your emotional well-being as well. Research from the Harvard Medical School indicates that staying mentally active through learning new hobbies can improve mood and decrease symptoms of depression. It's not just about keeping busy, it's about finding joy and satisfaction in mastering new challenges. And finally, thirdly, taking out physical activities you didn't have time for before that involve learning new movements like dance classes, yoga, or even martial arts can improve your physical fitness, flexibility, and overall health. A study in the Journal of Aging and Physical Activity found that those retired who engaged in regular physical learning activities experienced better balance coordination and physical endurance. Number six, you probably are financially ready. Many people hesitate to retire because they fear they haven't saved enough, but the truth might be more encouraging than you think. Let's look at some studies and insights that reveal why you may be more prepared for retirement sooner than you realize. Firstly, let's address a common concern, overestimating expenses. A study by the Employee Benefit Research Institute found that many retirees actually spend less than they anticipate in retirement. In fact, the study showed that average household spending drops by about 20% in the first few years of retirement. And even more as retirees age as we get older. This suggests that your retirement savings might actually stretch further than you think. Another study by Fidelity Investments found that if you've saved at least eight times your final annual salary by the time you retire, you're likely in good shape to maintain your current lifestyle. So calculate if you sold everything you own. What is that as a multiple of your earnings? And comment it below if you feel like it. Before we wrap this video up, let's talk about something called the one more year syndrome. This syndrome describes the common tendency to delay retirement by convincing yourself to work just one more year to save a little more money. It's a trap that many fall into, often because of fear and uncertainty around whether they truly have enough saved. A study by the Center for Retirement Research found that many individuals actually delay retirement for an average of three to five years longer than necessary simply because of this mindset. While working longer is obviously going to increase your savings, it also often means sacrificing precious moments and experiences you're never going to get back.